guys welcome to max house and on today we are talking all about what a mommy needs to have to get this thing right so if you're interested in what items you may need as a new mom this is just the video for you this is baby jenny v say jenny v what's up say what's up people Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn your bells on so you can get notifications when these videos drop. Now, let's get into the video. Alright, jumping right on in. Boom, we got the pacifier case. Alright, this actually is the second one because I lost the first one. And you may not need it immediately for a new newborn baby straight out the hospital. It depends on how soon you want to get a pacifier to the baby. But... I think it's important to have one of these pacifier cases because you don't want your baby putting germs from all over the place in his or her mouth. So, putting it in a case kind of protects it and keeps it clean. So, really for sanitary purposes, I feel like this is extra important. And I like that this one actually hooks onto the bag. Next up, diaper rash cream. When I was in the hospital, one of the nurses was like, she used it as a preventative measure, so she don't even wait for the rash to come. She uses it, I guess, frequently. I don't know if she used it every day or however she did it. But for me, I started off using it, like, every day, and then I was like, you know what? Let's not do that. So every blue moon, I add a little diaper rash cream, and we have not had to deal with any diaper rashes at all thus far. It's been a month. We'll see, but I'm definitely feeling this. All right, next we have a nail file. So I feel like the nail file is super important because the baby's nails are very thin and fragile when they first come out. It's very hard to try and clip it with nail clippers. Um, and let me tell y'all something funny about this little nail file thing. So I go to Target and I'm sitting around looking for a baby nail file. So I look in the baby area and I so happen to find one with like kind of like the... I guess first aid and like uh, safety first type stuff like the thermometer and uh, lip balm, all that for the baby in that area. So um, anyway, I look at the nail file and the clippers for the baby. I think the thing said it was $12. $12 for a nail file. I said these people tripping. I walked over to the beauty area and got this for one two dollars instead and it's gonna serve or it has served the same purpose so just a suggestion you might want to go look in the beauty aisle and not the baby aisle for this and save your bucks on like a cute outfit lunch anything i don't know so another thing that came in handy for us was the hit support for the car seat so here's hers inside of her car seat so yes, it did have the double cushion on the inside, but I went ahead and took that out. Um, it also came with these little straps to go, well, little strap pads to go on the straps. So what made me go to the store and buy the head support was because the one that was with the car seat that we already had, it wasn't giving her enough support for her head. Yeah, I feel like my poor baby head, it was in the car seat like this. <laughs> Can y'all imagine your head being like this all day long? You riding in the car. <laughs> and the reason that I decided to take them out was because, like, I live in Louisiana. It's hot. So, I just felt like the baby would be sweating. We were in the mall, so you know, most malls are pretty cold. And I went to take her out the car seat, and she was sweating like all down her back. And I'm like, what the heck? So, and then I feel like she was like trying to fight the straps, like, you know, or whatever. She was fighting the straps. So, I'm like, oh no, sister girl, we got to get rid of some of this stuff. So, I feel like the one does better for her now. Um, however, when she first, first came out, um, maybe the double one would have been better, but as she's growing, she's fitting more into just the single one. And in terms of the straps, I might try again later, like when it's not all so tight around her, because she's still, you know, small. So, we'll see. But I still think that it's something I would recommend to buy. Something else I would recommend is a fan. This is like the 
the little Disney fans. Oh, literally, it is a mini one. Um, I had one when I went to Disney. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. So, anyway, I recommend this, especially if you're going outside in the heat. This one has, like, a little water bottle. I'm not spraying my baby <laughs> at the time, actually. Yeah, she probably wouldn't like that. Or maybe she would think it's funny. I don't know. But, uh... I got this because I actually saw somebody walking at the park and they had a fan attached to their stroller, which I still want to get one of those, but until I do, this is what they had in the store. They had this one and this little small handheld one, and both of these came from um, Walgreens, and in fact, one was a dollar, one was two dollars. Nah, you can't beat that. Whenever we do go places we can keep her nice and cool and she's not getting like uncomfortable or extremely hot inside the stroller especially if you have the stroller closed you want to make sure there's some type of air circulation within the stroller and sister girl do not take the birthing cloths for granted let me show y'all can you see my shirt y'all see all these little spots that's because i got spit up on me okay it ain't because I dropped my own food on my shirt or something. No, it's because the baby spit up on me. So, if actually I was covered, I had my cloth on my shoulder, but then the phone rung. So then I walked over, got the got dog on phone. Somehow the burping cloth got off me. Then the baby got on me and then spit up. But then the whole time that I had that burping cloth on my shoulder, like so, nothing just nothing definitely want to have bourbon cloths a whole bunch of them not even just one or two a bunch tell them who did it jenny tell them who threw up on mommy no response you're not taking accountability for your actions girl okay jenny fine hmm. let's go ahead and talk about something else so genevieve is happily still on the inside of here down there just like the like button down there click it very important along with this little flap right here the cover up that's on the stroller you can actually buy one of these little coverings that attaches to the top part of the stroller and it has just these little velcro straps right here so number one is great for going outside and trying to block the sun but it also blocks them folks that won't come up and touch and kiss and try and be all in your baby face with their nasty germs. Yeah, you could just quickly be like, hey, how you doing? Boom, it's done. So quick story before I go on. So it's the whole family. We all in the mall. And so we walk and trying to go to Baby Gap. And I'm steady pushing the stroller. Here come this old lady. I'm seeing her like I feel like it was like we was playing football or something like you know I got my stance and then she got her stance and it's like which move you gonna make so my husband he says that I'm mean for this but it is what it is like I quickly like hit that little turn and the flip all at the same time baby was protected all right so another thing to keep all the germs off is receiving our muslin blankets you want to have a bunch of these to cover people and the baby you can swaddle the baby in these and then you can place it like over people's shoulders like this so that you know when they want to hold the baby a better version of that but like this and then that way their clothes and whatever on them is not getting on the baby is actually the receiving blanket all right another helpful something to have actually is music on my phone i have title i love to use one of these apps to play different types of music i play classical hip-hop r&b just whatever we in the groove for that's what we're doing i don't really do a lot of like the little kid songs and stuff because unfortunately it just i don't know the sound of it see what happened was when i had my son i listened to the stuff so much that i think i drove myself crazy so now like when i start hearing baby shark doo -doo -doo -doo, it drives me crazy like i just whew, it does something to the inside of my soul i like for us to sometimes slow dance to sleep and i think that rocking motion and then especially like say if it's r&b 
are uh, acoustic. Oh, I love acoustic sounds. But anyway, I don't know. We be jamming, child. Something that's very important to me is some sort of Christian book just to go ahead and start instilling uh, Christian and Christian values and God and just the Holy Spirit, all of that inside of the child. So little stories like this, I take these kind of books, I give them to my son for him to read to her. And then that way we're all incorporated in story time, learning and getting our spiritual vibrations up, you know. Okay. All right. I know most people put a crib normally in the baby room. If you have watched my nursing decorating video, you know that I didn't put a crib in the room. I decided to go with a bassinet. For now, we'll probably do a crib later. I decided to go with a bassinet because I wanted the mobility. So the bassinet is on the side of our bed. And then that way, number one, the first thing I was thinking about was being able to move that bassinet from my side to my husband's side. So then that way, I'm like, mm, I don't want to deal with that for right now. Can you uh, scoot that over there? I can just put my daughter inside, scoot it over to his side, and then we're all happy. And then I can also, like, I can put her inside the bassinet, bring it into the living room or bring it into the kitchen and try and cook. I have not been successful with being able to cook just yet, but she's in something that is keeping her safe. I don't have to worry about her falling off of it. It's a hard surface. So uh, to avoid like the sudden infant death syndrome stuff, I can put her on her back and whatnot and she's inside the bassinet and I can do what I need to do. All right, so tell the truth. Where your baby sleeping? In the bassinet, in the crib, or right on the side in the bed? Just be honest, I just wanna know. You can leave it in the comment below. I just wanna know, cause I know the hospitals and all that, they be talking about, oh, Make sure you put the baby in the bassinet and crib, but I ain't gonna lie, that could be hard sometimes. Just on uh, the things you gotta do with breastfeeding, burping, and changing the diaper and stuff, and doing that so many times throughout the night, it could be hard. So I just wanna know a realistic perspective where, where y'all where got y'all kids at. Next up, this right here. You may say, what is this? This is just a long sleeve shirt. And it has like little buttons, one on the inside, one or two of them over here, and it buttons up like so. Okay, the best thing about this shirt is these little things right here. You see that? It covers up their little hands. So normally, well, so you have the option. You can let their little hands come out. Or you can flip it over, their little fingers, and then it's covered. So it helps like if the baby's scratching his or her face, especially at night time. See, I like to use this at night. I do this with a diaper because guess what? We ain't got no snapping at the bottom. We got to do. It's just a simple with that diaper, with the new one on, clean up and whatnot. And yeah, we just let it fly, you know? Let me tell you, when I bought these in the store, the lady in front of me was like, that's the best thing right there. The lady checking out was like, oh yeah, I got that for my child too, because mm -mm, forget all that being cute stuff. And I, I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, because you see, I'm sitting here trying to buy them too. So that's three moms all signing, co-signing, baby, to buy this right here. All right, so you also want to have some breast milk storage bags. These definitely come in handy with pumping. They already have like a little perforated line up here. So you just rip it. Um, you put the date uh, and your child's name and how much it is and, and you put it all inside of here. Thanks to Tam Cam. Shout out to Tam Cam. I had posted in my Instagram stories, which is at Meg's house, you know, shameless self plug. But anyway, I posted in my Instagram stories um, a bag that I had made that had two ounces in it. So she was like, well, why you don't just save it in the fridge and then as you pump throughout the day, fill up the bag. And I'm like, good thinking, sis. So anyway, so now that's what I do. I fill up the bags and then I write the total amount and I put it in the freezer. That way, whenever she goes to daycare, family, whoever, whatever, 
everything is going to be prepared for her. And especially because the daycares want the pre-made bottles. So I can take this bottle out, put it in the freezer to thaw out, um, in the refrigerator to thaw out um, overnight. And then make her little bottles and we good to go. When I say we use this every night, like this is what she goes to sleep in. This little swaddle me, original swaddle. It has the Velcro little straps on it. And we literally fold her up like a little baby burrito and pop her in that bassinet. Um, and then that way, now the only thing though, I do keep her arms out because she, for some reason, like since the beginning, since she came home like she might have been swaddled fully in that hospital but since she came home that was a wrap them arms she be uh, 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 uh. you would think she's harlem shaking up in there or something yeah she she don't do arms in they do make different stages on here i guess according to how many pounds and whatnot you want some sort of swing or rocker for the baby that way you're not holding the baby all the time or having to put him or her down on Somewhere that may not be safe, like the couch or stuff or something, um, or leaving them unattended on the bed. It's easy to put the child in like some sort of, like I said, swing or rocker that you can move around the house. And then that way, if you go in the kitchen or if you in a room or wherever, you can take it with you. Put the baby down. Make sure the baby is strapped in because you don't want the baby to fall out. And then that keeps the baby safe. Keeps you, you know, from having to explain yourself on the news. You know. So I like the infant carrier because it gives me my two hands back. When you are breastfeeding and then holding the baby all day long and whatnot, um, sometimes you find it very hard to do simple tasks like brush your teeth. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be extreme when I say that, but again, maybe somebody real out there, you know, understand where I'm coming from that you don't realize how much you... I guess take things for granted, you know. Cooking food was once upon a time easy. Now I gotta schedule just what I can do in my little time, my little break periods, because we be busy. So anyway, the joy of having the infant carrier is that it frees up my hands. Um, also, like this weekend, we went to a festival. She was inside the carrier. We took her out like one time to change the diaper. We wasn't out there for like 10 hours or anything. We was out there maybe three hours or something. So we put her inside and she was fine. She slept through the whole thing right then, I guess. Really? Look at this. <laughs> We now interrupt this moment of recording to breastfeed. So it's actually going down right now under this cover up. And this is last on my list. There's this nice little cover up right here for breastfeeding. Now I don't know how they do it in the country that you live in, but here in America, I personally think views are still kind of like, eh, breastfeeding is a little, a little weird. People. Like, I know somebody told me, oh, I feel like people should go into the restroom to breastfeed. It's nasty up in there. I don't want to go into a public bathroom and be breastfeeding. It stinks in there. When I go to the restrooms, I try not to touch anything. I use my foot to open up doors and flush the toilet. Like, I try not to touch anything. I If I could hold my breath for that long, I would. But I can't, unfortunately. I hold my breath for the first amount of time that I'm in there. Then after, you know... Feel like I'm about to die, and then of course it start breathing again. But I don't want to smell that. Like bathrooms are so disgusting. So why would I want to stay in there for ten minutes trying to hold a baby breastfeeding? Ugh, I don't know. So anyway, that puts me back to a uh, well. You just gonna have to be like Nike and just do it, you know. So I have this cover up that I use in public to cover while I feed my baby. So. Then I got this off of Amazon. Speaking of that, uh, in the description box, I will have links to the products that I've mentioned in this video. If it's not the exact one, it'll be similar ones. Um, and then that way, it'll make it easy for you to find that. Also, like I know for my baby shower, I did an Amazon registry. Super, super easy and convenient. Um, a lot of the people that came or family members that purchased stuff from the registry said it was easy they did it amazon prime or however they um 
they just bought, they went on Amazon, searched for my name, my husband's name, bought the stuff off the registry, sent it to us, and then the nice thing about Amazon, they also even send you uh, the person's like name, address, everything that you need so you can send them like a thank you card and whatnot. If that's the route that you choose to go or you can text or whatever email but you have that option so welcome back to the world Genevieve I want to thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't checked out my other videos I got a whole playlist of like mommy vlogs and I have my labor and delivery video um, bathing a newborn just various things that I'm talking about on this channel I'll link it to the end of this video so that you can go and view it thanks so much for watching if there's anything that you recommend that people should get as a new mom and whatnot put it in the comments below and in that way it helps other people because that's the whole point of these videos is to help somebody else so thanks again for watching much love Mwah.